Hello everyone, welcome to Aesthetic Food Tech. So in this video, I am going to discuss about retrogradation. What is retrogradation? It is a change that occurs in cooked starch, that is in gelatinized starch. And this is a re-association or re process of the amylose and amylopectin that is present inside starch molecule and this mostly occur in products or food items that are rich in amylose than in amylopectin also this is a structural transformation that is occurring during storage that is it most probably occur during the storage of gelatinized starch products also after gelatinization when these starch paste or starch products are cooled or stored, they become retrogradated or they become less soluble and this condition is called as retrogradation. We may all have heard many daily instances of gelatinization and retrogradation in our life. For example, cooked rice becoming stiff and second one is freshly baked chapatis are soft initially but during storage or as time goes it became a little hard and the other one is tailing of bread this is a kind of spoilage that are going in bread when it is stored at 4 degrees celsius there are many factors by which retrogradation is dependent and it includes water content storage temperature lipids and botanical source what is water content and how retrogradation is related to water content as the presence of water increases retrogradation is also increased that is if water content is up to 40 to 45 percentage we have high or high rate of retrogradation but on the further increase of water the retrogradation is comparatively slow storage temperature mostly retrogradation take place at lower temperature that is the temperature not lower than freezing temperature and it takes place very slowly at higher temperature. So that's all about storage temperature and retrogradation process. That is, at lower temperature, retrogradation occurs at faster rate, but at freezing temperature, this retrogradation process is inhibited. And finally, at higher temperature, that is around 32 to 40 degrees Celsius, retrogradation phenomena is decreased. Lipids. The presence of lipids usually decreases retrogradation phenomena that is lipids block the recrystallization or reassociation process that may occur in gelatinized starch during storage botanical source botanical source means that retrogradation depends upon the type of starch that is used that is starch containing more amylose retrogradate so fastly compared to starch containing less amylose 